Hey, what's up, guys? I am Alan. I'm 25 years old. I'm from LA, and I stream on Twitch. I love playing Fortnite. That's one of the games I play mostly. I know Alan loves video games. The first game you ever played? The first game I ever played was was on a Game Boy Color. It was Tony Hawk Pro Skater. How did you get into gaming? Uh, what got me into gaming was all my cousins that had like like a uh, Super Nintendo and a uh, and a Nintendo 64 when I was little so when every time I'd go over their house I'd be playing their their their, their video games that's pretty much it and that's where it all started my first system was a uh, Game Boy Color and then after that I got a Nintendo 64 and then from there I just went on it the only system I didn't end up getting was a 360 favorite game of all time my favorite game of all time would be Super Mario Sunshine. That's my favorite game because it reminds me of like a lot of my childhood and how I got into video games. Your worst memory about gaming? When I had a PlayStation 2 and I didn't have a memory card. So like one time when I was trying to pass Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and I was already towards half of the game and I left it on because I was already tired and then the next day somebody had turned off this, this, the fucking system so now it's like I was really fucking pissed about that and I, now remembering back is still fucking pissing me off. Because your family support you playing video games. My family sorta of does support me playing video games and sorta of doesn't. The time I've been taking gaming serious it's been like they still want me to have a job and sometimes I, I go without a job and still do it as a hobby. It's something uh, they know I have a passion for and they, they know I could, they kind of feel like I could go somewhere with it. Who else plays video games in your family? Uh, the people who play video games with my family are just me and my brother. I play Fortnite and he plays like a variety of games. Me and him just grew up playing video games. What are your favorite type of games? My favorite type of games are, are shooters and survival games. My favorite games are Fortnite, Call of Duty, Gears of War, Halo, Minecraft, and The Forest. I would love to turn this into a career one day by streaming the games. I love playing. What inspired you to become a streamer on Twitch? What inspired me to become a Twitch streamer was that I obviously had a passion for video games and I always had the mindset like when Twitch started blowing up or became a thing, I wanted to do Twitch because like I didn't want to do YouTube videos so I just wanted to stream the video games I played and also I fucking hate the 9 to 5 life. I hate waking up early for work. So at the age of 19, I wanted to take it more serious. I uh, started streaming like around five years ago or six years ago. What do you mostly stream on Twitch? Uh, I don't mostly stream different games on Twitch. I just play one game and it's Fortnite. But before Fortnite, I did stream uh, like different types of games. Like I would be streaming, streaming uh, games on the Switch, like Super Mario Odyssey, a little bit of Zelda, and uh, and I would also stream Call of Duty. Would you make a career out of Twitch streaming? Yeah, fuck yeah, I would make a career out of Twitch streaming. I mean, who the fuck wouldn't love to play video games as, or for a living and shit? What games do you fucking hate? That's a good one. I don't know what the fucking games I hate. I just have to play the game, and if I don't like it, I don't like it. So I can't say I really hate a game. Maybe I fucking hate, uh, I fucking hate Fortnite. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Have you ever rage quit it? No, I, I, have I ever ra rage quit it? I don't think I have rage quit it. I, I think I have, uh, enough, uh, what's the word? What's that word? Patience and shit for it. So I don't rage quit. And if I do rage quit, it's like a little fuck this shit or something like that. I never broken a fucking controller and shit. I don't know how people could do that. When did you first discover Fortnite? I remember discovering Fortnite when Call of Duty World War II was out during December and all my friends were going to Fortnite and I was being uh, I was being an ass and I didn't want to go try it because I was all about Call of Duty during that time and I I actually played Fortnite during season two towards the end, but I literally just broke a tree and ended up fucking closing the app. And it wasn't until season three of Fortnite, that literally the first week of the battle pass, that I started playing it nonstop. I got addicted to it. 
What did you love about Fortnite that made you not want to stop playing it? What made me like Fortnite and made me not want to stop playing it was that it was just everything in that game was just so fresh and new. It was uh, extraordinary, and I think uh, the building aspect and like the, the it was uh, one of my first actual battle royale games that I ever grinded. So ever ever since that game came out, I just had like a super liking to it. I would spend hours playing that game. I wouldn't even go out it, like every day. I just got addicted to that game. Is there like something you fucking hate about Fortnite? Something I hate about Fortnite is probably the I think. Honestly, what Epic has to do for Fortnite is fix their fucking game. Everything's broken in that game. And they keep adding items that we don't need, like explosives and airplanes, robots. Like, I just wish that they would make the game uh, simple and shit again and add Siphon back, like shield per kill. I think that's it. Like, they gotta stop adding new fucking guns and fix their fucking uh, shooting registration and shit on that game. What's the most kills you have? Had in Fortnite. The most kills I've had in Fortnite was on Soul Squads during season six, I believe, when Siphon was around, and I had 19 kills. For people that have never played Fortnite, would you recommend playing Fortnite? Uh, you know what? For people that are barely getting into Fortnite, I would say good luck as of this point because there's so many sweaty motherfuckers on Adderall playing that game or some shit like that because. You have people, you have newcomers that probably want to quit the first day they come out because you got these fucking little fucking building verges and shit building and killing you on that game. So I would say, uh, good luck if you still, if you try to play it as a new player. What made you switch to keyboard and mouse after playing controller? What made me switch to keyboard and mouse on Fortnite was, uh, everybody that I watched, like, was a keyboard and mouse player and the people that I actually watched were, like, like really good at the game and every controller player that I watched there was only like three or four during that time and uh, it, it, they weren't on top it was mostly like Tifu and like a ninja and they were they were both keyboard players so I was like you know what I want to advance in this game so I decided to go to keyboard and mouse because of that and now I think I am way better than I was on controller with the keyboard and mouse will you ever stop playing video games I do not think I would ever stop playing video games, actually, even if I'm not streaming. Yeah, because I, I, I love video games, so yeah. I don't think I ever would play, stop playing video games. So where can people find you on social media? People can find me on Twitch, Instagram, and uh, Twitter, and uh, yeah, I am six feet under. Your ultimate goal in gaming? My ultimate goal in gaming would be winning a Fortnite competition. Alright man, anything else you wanna add? Yeah, I wanna give a few shout outs to some of my friends. Hugo, Victor, Yadira, Luis, Hector, uh my my homies that I play with online, uh Killman, uh Tony, Zova. Zova and that's all. Yeah, and that's it. Thank you, Victor, for the fucking interview. You're the fucking man, dude. Appreciate it. appreciate it a lot. Right, I'm pretty right. fucked up at this point right now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. That's a wrap, my friend. I wish I'll see you.